सेट योर गोल्स हाई एंड डू नॉट स्टॉप टिल यू गेट देयर नमस्कार वेलकम टू नेक्स्ट आई एस आई होप यू आर डूइंग वेल इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इम्पोर्टेंट स्पीशीज जो की अभी रिसेंटली न्यूज में थी एंड दे आर ऑल्सो रेलिवेंट फॉर यू पी एस सी सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी टाइम लेट स्टार्ट टू डेज डिस्कशन विद अटलांटिक मैन हिडन इट इज इन द न्यूज बिकॉज रिसेंटली रिसर्चर्स हैव reported declining reproductive rates of ospreys due to overfishing of the atlantic menhaden now what are ospreys so friends they are raptors that are well adapted for fishing and these birds have long legs and large feet now let's know more facts related to atlantic menhaden as you can see here they are silvery in color with a distinct black shoulder spot behind their gill opening they are also known as brevoshia tyrannus and they are distributed in the western atlantic from nova scotia which is in canada along the us to jupiter inlet florida they are also common in all salinities of the chisa peak bay atlantic menhaden play many important roles like they are filter feeders primarily consuming phytoplankton and zooplankton in the water column and they are a major source of omega 3 fatty acids and they are also used to develop human and animal supplements they also support an important commercial fishery because they are harvested for use as fertilizer and animal feed etc they have been consistently overfished for more than a century for their commercial use and iucn red list of threatened species classifies them as least concern species right now let's know about sperm whale it is in the news because recently ambergris worth 4 crore has been found in the stomach of a dead sperm whale in spain now what is ambergris so friends it is a waxy substance that originates from digestive system of sperm whales it is a rare substance which contributes to its high demand and high price in the international market and due to its high value in the market ambergris is often called the floating gold and treasure of the sea and do you know friends there is a ban on the possession and trade of ambergris in countries like usa australia and india but in several other countries it is a tradable commodity now friends let's know more facts related to sperm whale so friends as you can see here sperm whale is a large dark colored toothed whale with a massive square shaped head that can make up more than a third of its body length sperm whales got their name because the semi liquid waxy substance in their head which was first believed to be sperm they are the largest of the toothed whales and have one of the widest global distributions of any marine mammal species it has large geographic range and it can be seen in nearly all marine regions from the equator to high latitudes but it is generally found in the continental slopes or deeper waters it is also found in mediterranean sea gulf of california and gulf of mexico right Now let's look at the threats faced by the sperm whale. So friends, deep sea oil and gas exploration can cause a multiple issues for sperm whales such as loss of hearing, water pollution from hydrocarbons and increased risk of being hit by ocean vessels. Now let's look at the protection status of sperm whale. So friends, IUCN red list of threatened species classifies them as vulnerable species. and it is protected under schedule 2 of the wildlife protection act 1972 they are also listed in appendix 1 of the sites now let's know about gambusia fish it is in the news because recently andhra pradesh government has released approximately 10 million gambusia fish into the state's water bodies to combat mosquito borne disease like malaria and dengue as you can see here this is the image of gambusia fish now let's know more facts related to gambusia fish it is also known as mosquito fish and its scientific name is gambusia affinis it is native to the waters of southeastern united states and do you know friends 
it is widely used as biological agent for controlling mosquito larvae and a single full grown fish eats about 100 to 300 mosquito larvae per day and iucn red list of threatened species classifies it as least concern species it has been part of various malaria control strategies in india since 1928 including urban malaria scheme it can also survive in diverse environments and it has high breeding capacity and do you know friends international union for conservation of nature declares gambusia as one of the 100 worst invasive alien species in the world and multiple countries including india have listed gambusia as invasive species now in the last let's know about hulog gibbon it is in the news because recently conservation status of hulog gibbon was a cause for concern at a global event on gibbons which was held recently in china now let's know more about them so friends gibbons are the smallest and fastest of all apes and they live in tropical and subtropical forest in the southeastern part of asia hulog gibbons range extend in northeast india myanmar eastern bangladesh and in southwest china and hulog gibbon is india's only ape and it is unique to india's northeast and it is one of the 20 species of gibbons on earth like all apes they are extremely intelligent with distinct personalities and strong family bonds the estimated population of hulog gibbons is 12000 and they face threat primarily from felling of trees for infrastructure projects the red list maintained by the international union for conservation of nature categorizes western hulog gibbons as endangered species and eastern hulog gibbon as vulnerable species so with this let's conclude our today's discussion thanks for listening be happy be nice